Really? Faster shifting with just one update? All right, so this is a video for all of you SRAM GX transmission users. So this morning I got an email where basically SRAM Technical Services uh, let me know that there was a firmware update for GX transmissions that actually allows faster shifting. I thought I would just go through the motions to update my GX transmission derailleur to see if it actually did give us faster shifting. So in the firmware notes, it basically says that the firmware reduces the time between successive derailleur shifts of three or more and aligns better with the common cassette rotational speeds. Furthermore, the update contains a timing update for the cassette mapping multi-shift intervals. This means that on successive shifts of three or more, the derailleur will move quicker between gear positions. It even goes on to address multi-shift directly. Going on to state, this timing update can be felt with or without multi-shift enabled, which is what we're gonna try because I usually experience my best results just by spamming the shifter. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm just gonna run a kind of a baseline test to see how fast it's actually shifting right now. It's very non-scientific, but it would be very interesting to see if we can notice a difference. For those of you who are unfamiliar with GX transmission, uh, this tends to shift a little bit slower than the previous uh, GX access version of the derailleur. Uh, with this, you can actually shift under 100% load, which is remarkable. Uh, so it's a little bit understandable how it would kind of take a little bit longer to deliver that crispier shift. Here is a shifting demo before the update. All right, and now back down. So now that the new firmware has been updated, let's go ahead and do another demo. I'm gonna be employing that same shift method that I used last time, AKA not using multi-shift. Like we saw in the release notes, you don't actually have to have multi-shift enabled in order to notice a difference in shifting speed, but we might try it after just to see if it does actually make a difference. So on the way down, I noticed it is a hair faster and on the way up, a hair faster as well. All right, so I just turned on multi-shift uh, to see if that actually does make a difference. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay all of those three clips over one another to see if we can actually notice a difference. Not as dramatic of a change as I would have expected with that email, but it does probably seem about 10 to 15% faster and again, this is just with the bike on a stand. Uh, in my opinion, GX transmission really shines when you actually get out there onto a trail and you start to shift under full load. I think it's only then when you really start to appreciate the difference that the clutches and the new tech that they put into this derailleur uh, and what it really has to offer when you get out onto those trails. Let me know what you think. Have you updated this as well and have you noticed a difference? Do you prefer the shifting of the older GX axis? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for stopping by.